Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Wednesday here. It's Canadian CPI today. Uh, not much else. We got FOMC minutes later today. Just waiting to see if this risk really tips here. So yeah, another doji yesterday in the ES. Let's start with the ES chart. Um, so we kind of had a one doji, now two dojis. Yesterday's doji was a little more interesting because we made a new high and then we still closed uh, where we opened and we did probe the lows and then we had some news overnight about uh, some legislation passing in the U.S. Congress kind of fucking with China a little bit. Uh, we've printed an 08 uh, and a quarter low, so a new daily low. Does this flip the script on risk? Not clear yet. You really want to see uh, prices below 3100 before you start sharpening the knives. Uh, but first bearish sort of setup, proper bearish setup in a while. Um, so core short um, here between 13 and 18 seems appropriate uh, and is how we're going to approach the day. We're quite careful as we always keep saying about selling low ones in S&Ps. Obviously on an uptrend selling low ones is not the way forward. Uh, one lower daily high does not make a downtrend so we're still careful about selling low ones but we are watching this 3100 figure uh, 3100 level very very closely today let's take a look at euro swiss uh we talked about it yesterday that we feel like the turn is in this is uh jumped now 120 points from the lows 85 was the high yesterday. Uh, we're core short Euro Swiss looking for this to turn. And considering we're still long, uh, still bullish Euro dollar, um, this means dollar Swiss has to go lower. Uh, so let's jump to the dollar Swiss chart. Three days now of just sideways action. Little pernickety high there at 99.20, but. Today we're going to deeply focus on this uh, 70 level, 98.70, and more importantly, 98.40. Minutes could uh, drive this. Geopolitics could drive this. Um, I don't know, but uh, today we are going to. It's going to be one of those old-fashioned structured trades where we'll sell through 70 and sell through 40. Um, and have a look around to see what is driving it if those entries are done. So dollar Swiss focus today. Dollars are reflecting a little bit of risk off still. Um, we're in the midst of this big sideways motion here still. Um, but it looks like dollars are could pop higher here. Uh, the interesting point today will be the series of three daily highs here at 83. Uh, core long dollars are today looks okay. You know we like to beat on um, the South African currency. I believe there is also some um, inflation numbers out, core inflation out of South Africa today, uh, 9 a.m. So if you're going to be playing in the dollars are Keep in mind that uh, there will be releases, economic releases, in two hours. What else is out there? Sterling yen. Uh, we, we talked about this. I don't know. I believe last week. Um, Maybe in Monday. That's probably last Friday, actually. One thirty-nine uh, forty. Very interesting, technically. I don't even want to try and explain this on the political level. I know there was some idiotic debate last night that nobody listened to. Um, don't understand, uh, you know, what Corbyn's doing or what's happening over there. 
but just technically speaking, 139.40 uh, is an interesting chart point, followed by 138.90. And if we do get our risk off flush and sterling just kind of does nothing or kind of slips off, um, sterling in will go. Um, so keep an eye on these. These are important levels in our mind. Um, let's take a look at crude. It was kind of an important day yesterday. Big red day. Closed below this key uh, 56.22 area. Market looks like it's caught long crude. This can't be good for risk either. Uh, tricky with the Aramco IPO up ahead. But core short crude looks all right. Um, if you want to sell high ones today, up near 55.80 and near this 56.22 area, you can see um, typically difficult. So we we traded this 22 area, then we traded all the way down to 96, then up to 28 back up to 23 after trading 98 um, this thing does jump around a lot so use the volatility in your favor uh, so offering high ones today those should be should be movement above this 55 55 area so between 55 55 and 55 85 uh, we like selling crude uh, what else is out there Aussie Bullish engulfing yesterday, very weird. Don't understand this at all. But it's mid-range, so it's not super powerful. We do like selling Aussie. Uh, we will wait uh, and try and sell this uh, between 68, 50, and 80. Um, don't really understand why Aussie bullish engulfed yesterday. We thought the RBA was dovish. Uh, this was confusing to a lot of people. Brings us to Euro Aussie. Also put in a bearish day with a wick. We are just waiting up here. We talked about it yesterday. We thought um, 110.90 would drive this 163.10 level. But it looks like what might be happening here is we're going to get a little shoulder here. And then this is going to be some sort of big head and shoulders neckline. Uh, 163.10 still on the radar. Finally, dollar CAD bullish engulfed, closed near the highs. Quite a powerful day. Continuation today. Wilkins was bearish. Um, risk was off. Oil got hurt. A lot of reasons for CAD to do what it did. Uh, this is quite powerful. And if we get a shitty CPI today, this thing's really going to roll. Um, and we could easily attack this 133.50 level. So core long uh, dollar CAD looks good, but then you have to be careful going into CPI because that's that's going to be that's going to be a mover. So plan ahead for that six and a half hours, seven and a half hours from now. Um, but this looks very constructive. Uh, core long dollar cad you can imagine what euro cad looks like same thing this is quite an interesting little level i guess 147.18 in euro cad uh, but be careful now um you know either be prepared to leave a very wide stop going to cpi because of the possibility of slippage um cpi will be a mover for the canadian dollar so what's our focus for the day? Uh, we talked about this dollar Swiss uh, downside. This is a real focus for us. Uh, we will also be selling high ones in S and P's, um, and then we will see how things go on the Canadian CPI today, and maybe play around with either EuroCAD or dollar CAD. All right. That's all I got for you guys. Uh, have a good day. Make some dough out there, people. Uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow.